environmental plugin based on Ladybug. So Ladybug, uh, we can just go here. This is a uh, in install for the Ladybug plugin. There's also some other features on Ladybug, but I'm not going to go into those here. We're going to start with the basic set so you understand what it means to work in Ladybug. And so I'm just going to do some Ladybug test. Just call this panel, or just you know basic Ladybug. And so um, we're just going to be looking at some different base functions. The first thing you start with with Ladybug is looking at environment information you plug in. And, and uh, that's going to be your base for everything you do. Next thing you can also analyze data, visualize, analyze geometry, etc. But you have to start with your environmental data. So we're actually going to start by looking at um, EPW map, um, where we actually can just go ahead and you let it load a little bit of time. Uh, we just give a pretty much Boolean toggle, um, <laughs> you know, or a button. Um, so we can actually just load that. And it's going to take us to an app that lets us download a map. Okay. So we can go ahead and just follow what it sort of gives us a direction to. And the idea is every single, you know, uh, the environmental map is sort of plotted out to give certain information throughout the year, where the sun is, different temperature data, uh, rain, precipitation, etc. And so that's what we're looking at with this. And so um, that's, of course, a you know, reason to have it, a good internet connection when you're uh, logging into this as well. So we're just going to let that load. And essentially, uh, it's uh, going to be you know, pulling in from places around the world. Um, and you can pretty much just go into the map and say, oh, you know, if I like this particular area, um, let me find out about it. But uh, every place is not going to be equal. Be, if that area doesn't have the best map, maybe you'll choose somewhere that's a little closer. And we just maybe copy this one. Come back here. And the great thing about it is when it's downloaded, it's going to be in your file. You'll be saved in your Ladybug folder. So we know we've downloaded that, okay. So it's it's, it's fully loaded now. Uh, here we are, and so um, so what we can now start to do is uh, we don't really need to look at our model. This is really just understanding what's going on in Ladybug. Uh, now we have an EPW map. We have a we might have a stat file. So uh, and the idea is this is pretty much a weather file, but we can get a lot of information about what's happening around that time. This is also the stat file. And the idea is, uh, DDY, uh, these are pretty much saying what happens throughout the year with that weather information. Um, and so those, those are your base function where you just get that map going. You download the, the link and put it out. Now we have the EPW file. Now we have the ability to start looking at that data. And <clears throat> what that is, is we can, uh, we can go ahead now and just import the data and now get particular climate data that we can now start to visualize. And so we just plug that in from that EPW file. And so each one of these is usable as information. Now if you click on one of these, it's not going to actually be just a bunch of normal numbers. Um, they are all sort of formulated. So like maybe a dry bulb temperature is it's going to have like a particular array structure. And so the idea is these all have to be interpreted. And so what we want to do is before we if you start to talk about visualizing it, we also want to make sure we're looking at how we want to visualize it. So when we look at the analyzed data, we have the ability to construct the data. We can say a particular period, do we want to see weather from a particular set of, you know, start of the day, end of the day, that sort of thing. And we also have the ability to, you know, sort of say, do we want just the headers? Do we want, you know, the just the data itself? Right now, if we would like really click more on to see something like something that's very simple, like a sun path, and we want to just uh, get that information, um, we uh, are, are going to be looking at information that needs to be pulled in. And that's going to be visible from how these are organized. So in this file, uh, information that's, or any, the variable that has a underscore before it, is something you need to plug in. All the ones that have the underscore afterwards is something that uh, they're actually going to uh, give you. And so the idea is, you know, you have to plug in the center point for that sun path uh, and the location. So 
if I would just put uh, just a point or a construct point and uh, as my center point and the idea is uh, north it always sort of gives like a generic north that I could always rotate that um, but the location is going to have to be given so this one and then we go into our ladybug we'll see sort of what what it's showing okay so it's just using that zero zero point as a location and so this is a very visual function obviously and the idea is it it's not really showing you data at the moment because we haven't said of any particular which days that's where we start to look at the importance of analyzing the data okay so if we start and set up a analysis period um so we have to start to break this down and the idea is we're saying what day did we start in what month what hour and when do we end in that period that gives us either a period of always or dates so these are different formatted information so if you want to say we want to just look at what's happening in June, we can just say we're going to just be dealing with June. <clears throat> and if we want to say maybe we're starting on the first day, um, we can always use a slider. Uh, and we want to say we're maybe looking at um, <clears throat> if we, we, we would stay on the same day, but we want to see maybe going from 6 a.m to 6 p.m. and that's going to be 18, you know, 18th hour. And we have that here. We now have values both in our OIS and our period. So now we get to plug in uh, to these values and you know it can sort of get any one of those. <clears throat> but you see pretty much this is one particular day. And so the idea is throughout the day, the sun is going to be that that location. And what we're going to do is, you know, the idea is if we want to we want to uh, change the hour that we started, you see, like it's sort of pretty much showing every per hour. But uh, if you want to change the day of the month, you know, it will actually start showing like a little bit multiple. Uh, now this one is uh, only set up to particular that value, but if we could always come in here maybe make this to 30 and so that, that'll make it a little more interesting so you know we can be going see what happens in a month and if we even plug in this 1 to 12 for the month you see it you can show multiple periods obviously but I can also just select the one particular set so Pretty much that's just how it's how it's showing that particular time and the data that's going to be visualized for this one is just the sun path and so i just know where the sun is in that relationship so that's that's a very simple way of visualizing um, one particular set of information but there's actually quite a lot of information that's actually visible um, <clears throat> from here of course you see all these temperature sets the question is um what can these also be used for well because a dry bulb temperature tells the temperature that's going to be in the day. We actually can find out when is the hottest in the day. We can actually plug that in as data. Um, now, you know, the idea is if you plug it in directly, uh, it can start to sort of show you where is it going from. And it's sort of saying the minimum, maximum dry bulb temperature. So it's going from 17 to 33. You see that the warmest part of the day is going to be when the sun is at the highest. So that's in June. And if you go from your your above view, you can see more information about that. So this is a great thing that Ladybug does, and this is just for visualizing the sun path.